Hey guys, welcome to another video episode of Coin Sutra, and this is a video series for Trezor Hardware Wallet. In the earlier video, I've showed you everything that you need to know about Trezor Wallet, like how to start using it, how to reset, how to recover from seed word, and in this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting security feature of Trezor Wallet, and that is passphrase. So you already know, like you know, your private key is stored in your Trezor wallet, and you usually recover your wallet using your seed word. Now the thing is, this is not very easy. But if somebody get hold of your Trezor wallet and they check the chip, there is a chip inside. If they check the chip inside an electron microscope, they can actually see your private key. Well, that's a big risk, right? However. There is one thing that you can do to ensure, even if somebody gets hold of your Trezor wallet and they actually see it inside the microscope and they got your private key, still they cannot steal your bitcoins. And that feature is called passphrase feature. So you know, with this hardware wallet, number one security that you get, you use a pin code that's useful when somebody got hold of your. You know, Trezor wallet, and they want to transfer the coin to some other wallet. They can't do that because they don't have access to your physical device. Now, let's say they have access to your physical device, and if they see your private key, they really don't need your PIN. Now, in that case, what you can do, you can use the passphrase feature of Trezor wallet. What it does is like you use a word or combination of word or few letters as a password. Now, without that passphrase, no one can ever access your wallet. And if you forget that passphrase, that word, even you won't be able to access your wallet. It's same as like keeping your seed word secure. But apart from seed word, you also need to keep your passphrase secure. And that could be one word, and you should keep it in your mind. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that passphrase with your Trezor wallet. So this is a already configured Trezor wallet. The first thing that I need to do is connect the device to my laptop. Then go to wallet.trezor.io. Refresh the page. Now the first thing you need to do is enter the pin. Let's quickly do that. Now once you're inside your Trezor dashboard, first thing you need to do is let the wallet load. You can see here it's still loading at the top left. So once it's load. Click on Edit Device Basics, and here go to Advance, and then here is the option which says Passphrase. So you know you need to understand if, in case if you have any, you know you want to learn more about using Passphrase, you can click on this User Manual, this link here. Then click on Enable Passphrase Encryption. So on my Tracer Wallet LCD screen, it's asking, do you really want to enable Passphrase Encryption? You need to confirm or cancel from your Trezor wallet. So let me quickly confirm. And it says disconnect your Trezor to enable passphrase. Let's do that. And let's connect device again. Then enter the pin. So here you need to enter the passphrase that you want to use, and without this passphrase, nobody can ever steal your Bitcoin. So this is like one of the safest way to keep your Bitcoin secure. So let's quickly enter the passphrase, click on enter, and that's it. I use Dashlane to manage my password. It's a very smart thing to do. It actually saves a lot of time. Uh, we'll talk about Dashlane or other password manager later on. And that's it. You just enable passphrase. Now, whenever you are recovering your Bitcoin wallet using your seed word, you also need to know your passphrase. That's how you start using passphrase. I hope that helps you to understand more about your Trezor wallet. If you are new to hardware wallet, Bitcoin hardware wallet security, do check out our other videos. They are created in a way. So that even a person who just starting out with Bitcoin can understand. And if you have any question regarding hardware wallet, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Do check out our website coinsutra.com to learn more about Bitcoin wallet, Bitcoin security, and how to start making money from Bitcoins. Well, that's all from me for today. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. This is your host Harsha Grewal.